Hi, my lovelies. Uh, <clears throat> I came to answer some more of my questions that I had. This is part two that I had gotten um, before I had to leave because my air was out. Okay. Um, I left off with Maxi Motion. Um, she asked me, oh, I am so sorry about Holly. I was so upset. I didn't even know what to write uh, or a type or whatever. I just wanted to tell you that you are in my heart and in my prayers because I know if I lost my Zanny, I don't know what I would do. But on to your question. Um, what meds are you on and have you found anything useful for pain? I am on Cymbalta and um, no, it's not useful for pain at all, especially when you have fibro and lupus. But um, I, like today, I went grocery shopping and my muscles are so bad today. I just had like four or five muscle spasms in my side and stomach, like right here. Um, you guys can't see, but it's like right where my ribs are. And it, it was, oh, it hurt me so bad, I didn't even know what to do. But that's the devastation I get from just going to the grocery store. Um, I had them in my hands today, in my toes and legs. I, it's been really bad today, but as far as anything for pain, I haven't found anything that helps. Um, I'm on Cymbalta and blood pressure medicine and a water pill and Synthroid for my hypothyroidism. Um, so, uh, but hopefully with this new program that I'm going to be getting on, I'll be able to get something. I mean, I would love to go to a pain management doctor. Oh, that would be awesome. Okay, next question. T. Mac attack. How old were you when you stopped working? Um, I was about 29 or 30 and now I'm 39 so about nine years ago and uh, I didn't stop working until I couldn't function. That was pretty much when I stopped working. Dreamer 72 Femme Stacy I love you Stacy and just to let you know at nine o'clock tonight I'll be calling um, okay what would be your dream vacation uh, what would be your dream job if I was able-bodied and if I had to eat one food every day for the rest of my life what would it be those are really good questions uh, my dream vacation would probably be just to leave the United States at all. You know, um, I'd like to go to England. I'd, I'd love to go to Europe. Um, you know, Asia, just I anything to where, you know, if I went in the country, I'd feel safe. Germany. Um, but, yeah, anywhere other than here. And if I had to pick someone, uh, someone, somewhere in the U.S., I would say Hawaii. Um, my dream job, if I was able-bodied, would be um, probably taking care of as many kids as I could. Because I love children. I love to make a difference in their life. Uh, no, if th either that or helping, just like anyone that's uh, been sexually abused as a child or even raped as an adult I would love to be able to counsel them um, you know anything that helps people um, kids that have been bullied I would love to be able to talk to them and just help them out and know that things get better and you can stand up for yourself and that kind of thing. 
I've always wanted to make a difference. That's what I've always wanted to do. And if I had to eat one food the rest of my life, what would it be? Macaroni and cheese. Because I love me some macaroni and cheese. Okay, Bug Lady 58, Gail. What should we call you? Have you ever had a dog and want to come over sometime? Um, Gail, what you should call me is Lizzie. Elizabeth, Eliza, Liza, um, Lizzie, whatever you want to call me, I'll be fine with that. If you want to call me Lizard Breath, that's fine too. You know, I'm all cool with all the Lizzie names. Just as long as you love me, you can call me what you want. Uh, have I ever had a dog? Yes, I've had a dog when I was probably six years old we had a dog named uh, Cyclops <laughs> and um, the neighbors complained so much that my dad got rid of him because he was outside barking 24-7 now my aunt had a dog that I loved so much and my uncle shot him in the head because he was he couldn't move his back legs and, and when I was that little I was really upset about that but his name, get this, his name was Trampus. I have always loved that name. I haven't, I need to ask my aunt where they, they got that name, but Trampus, like Tramp Us. Trampus, isn't it cute? But yeah, he got shot in the head and I was devastated. Didn't talk to my uncle for a long time. Um, and do I want to come over sometime? Um, hell, hello. Hello. Yes, I do. I would love to come visit you, Gail. I would love to. So we'll have to see how that works out, huh? I gotta check my time here. I'm at seven minutes and 11 seconds. And let's see, ECC Winnipeg. Where have you traveled? Do you think the US should make a spanking illegal like it is in most of Europe? And Uh, oh, did it make a difference in your childhood? Which, speaking of mine. Uh, where have I traveled? I've only been to a few states in the United States. I've never been out of my country. Um, I do believe in spanking. I don't think it should be illegal. I think that there are times that people need to spank their children. I don't think that it should be done you know every time that they are disciplined because I know for a fact you can discipline a child as long as you are consistent and if you're not consistent you know whipping them all the time isn't gonna work either so that's um I know that you can do it without whipping because I worked in a daycare for three years and we had to discipline them without spanking them and they all minded us so um, I'm not sure if it was better or worse for me the fact that I got whipped as a child um, I do believe that it helped in some sense because you know I had the fear the wrath you know if dad if we got in trouble dad would say you're getting a surprise and we knew a surprise was not a good thing okay and we'd get a whipping that's life um, he didn't beat us or anything. We just got whipped. And I really do think that it gave me more, um, uh, what's the word? I, I put it this way. I didn't do anything bad until I was 18. <laughs> I knew better, period. That's the way it was. Okay. Uh, the Alone Poet. What is the craziest question you have ever been asked or have I or ha, that I have asked? Probably the craziest question that I have asked or been asked is um you know, have you ever farted out loud? And I do believe that that's everybody. Um I'm going to go. If there's any more questions, put them down here. Love you all. Mwah. Bye.